I shall rain fire upon you. Maha! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Grand Class Melee 2. It is grander and classier than the original Grand Class Melee, and it features over 60 classes in an arena style uh, with local multiplayer. It's pretty, pretty damn cool. The bots are smart and tough, and we're gonna stick with the controller controls because this game just feels right on a controller which is probably because I believe it was originally an Xbox game. Uh, it's published by Gigatross Games so big thanks to them for the key. This game won't be out until February 2nd so the key is accessible early as a review copy which is really nice of them. And there are four classes to pick from each start with uh, their own skill and as you move up you will like be able to diversify your class based on the skill you pick. Your first class is the squire, he's more like a warrior. He can evolve into a swordsman or a pikeman and then even further based on that. The apprentice is a rogue, uh, all about quick attacks and movement speed. He can go kind of like a myrmidon near the end and also in his other tree he's like a soldier but with more mobility than that would imply. <laughs> the bowyer can go druid or archer obviously. <laughs> the savant is a mage and gets extremely crazy skills near the end. Uh, time mage and all sorts of cool spells so we're gonna try out the mage will be on the white team and I'm going to set up these guys as medium wonderful let's play a game so I could shoot a fireball as my mage yeah kind of missed and I find that it's a relatively smart idea to kind of stay back you can see when your spells are recharged by looking in the upper left there are little circles that define your spells and I died you get points based on most damage, um, not dying, things like that, most kills. This can all be adjusted in a point screen under the options, which I think is really nice for setting up your own style of gameplay. One is called uh, Justice, and you get major points for doing the most damage, but you aren't allowed to kill anybody, like, you lose all the points that you did for the most damage if you kill someone. Which is a pretty interesting spin, I think. So this game has a lot of potential and a lot of great ideas floating around. With that said, I can evolve into an acolyte or a scribe. So priest or mage, priest or mage, I'm going to go mage. And then my second ability, I only have one, which is the scorch. But now I have two things that I can shoot. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, shoot. I'm not doing good damage. But living is probably the most important thing. Yeah! Get wrecked! <laughs> okay. We're still kind of losing out, because that guy did a bunch of damage that round. I can get the Flame Wisp or the Speed Potion as an Apothecary. I will go... I think probably mostly Sorcerer. I'm gonna take the Fireball and the Flame Wisp and see how it goes. You don't have a mana bar, so really casting your Flame Wisp constantly is a great option. Just to keep yourself kind of defended. Get some extra damage on these guys. Some cheap damage. Just keep running! Just keep running! Oh my god! No! That guy died to a flame wisp. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, sucko! <laughs> he died to a sorcerer's melee attack. That's so sad. But now I'm ahead. So not so sad. Wreath of flame, a column of fire that does one heart of damage. And then the chemist can restore two hearts to himself. 
Uh, let's go with Chemist and Flame Wisp. So we can get a little heal and a little damage going. And I just blew my, <laughs> my skill because <laughs> I pressed the primary button instead. That's fine. They all seem content fighting out there. I'll just do this. Everybody die! More flame wisps! Oh my god. I, I, I... I didn't pop in time. Well, damn. Still ahead, but that guy's kind of on the board now. Alchemist increases melee damage by half a heart. Sage. Now we're going into the other tree towards, like, uh, the priest. Which is... The tree's posted in the, in the comments if you want to have a look at that picture. It's absolutely crazy. And this game's still in early access. I, I friggin' love it. A damage over time spell that affects everyone for 15 seconds. Wow. That seems pretty cool. We'll do that and the Flame Wisp. <laughs> I love the Flame Wisp. And I think that's one of the cool things about this game is you can really customize whatever you want your character to be. If you pick up a skill once, you can use it all the way until the end. Which is really nice. Oh my god. I got wrecked. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, the other guy's on the board. That's fine. Time mate stops time for two seconds. Priest gives you a buff that raises you from the dead and heals over time. Hmm. I, I, I... I love that flame wisp. Now I'm immortal! Okay, how- Oh, there is a time mage. In this fight. That's unfortunate. Get away from me, bro! I just need to keep my halo and I'll be immortal forever. Create a wall of flame! Oh my god! No, don't hurt me! I'm a squishy man! Oh, I'm alive again. Ha 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 ha! Will you make it over here? I think not. I shall rain fire upon you! Maha! <laughs> it's a pretty dastardly priest, I'll tell you what. Burn in righteous fire! A Vicar shoots a magic beam attack that hits for two hearts. Ooh. And Preserver has a magic orb that explodes at random. It has one heart. We'll go with the Vicar. Because obviously, sounds better. And I rather like that afterlife spell, so. It kind of gives us a second chance. Boop, boop, boop. Damn. Get away from me, bro. Interrupting my cast, man. Didn't do nothing. Didn't do, didn't do. Oh, god damn it. I gotta put it down on this guy. I'm gonna die! That's so sad. Again! Again! Hey, I need some help with uh, the range. But really, there's there's not a whole lot he can do. It's a melee-based class. So there's Devout, uh, that gives an area of effect spell that hits for four hearts. And Diviner has Divide Mine, which reduces cast time and cooldown of the secondary ability by 50%. Which would be great if I didn't use Flame Wisp, which has basically no cooldown. I love Flame Wisp! <laughs> Flame Wisp! Flame Wisp! Explodey spell! Okay. Now you learned your lesson, did you? Okay. Stay away from me, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm so squishy, you can't. You can't, I'm so squishy! No! No! <laughs> oh, I lost the last round. That's horrible. But the Celestial and the Archmage are gonna duke it out. The Celestial recovers health, I believe. Every time he lands a melee attack, so I think he's gonna win. Yeah. 
Oh no, the Archmage won. Dang. Well. I still got first. Which is nice. Because the mage is freaking crazy. I'll probably be back to this game to do another class. Just because it is something that I want to keep an eye on. Early access and I believe it's got tons of potential. I'll probably even do a text review for it. So look for that in the description as well. If you did enjoy the video, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Until next time, friends. This has been Grand Class Melee 2. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Until next time. Bye-bye!